Why is this so hard? Why is this one gonna be so hard? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I mean, my Jeffree Star lipstick should make me be thicker. So, I'm Latina. <laughs> As Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try. See, it's a track. There are the pens and cooking. Baby Yoda is the cutest thing in the world, so. 90 days with me. Hey guys, Busy Mommy here, and today we're gonna do something a little different. So no recipe, no cooking stuff in front of you because I need to talk to y'all. So I have been going through this journey, as you guys have seen with keto. Um, I have officially lost 50 pounds. I gained 10 back, so technically 40 pounds. Um, but you know what, that's fine because the way I see it is still 40 down. So here's what we need to talk about. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about me, um, a little bit about this journey that I'm about to start on and something that I really wanna share with you guys, not only for accountability, but you know, I think a lot of us need that extra motivation and it just so happened to fall on the first of the year when this is gonna happen. But we had this huge event at my work called Refuel and um, our CEO put this together and it's, flipping amazing. Um, I had such an incredible time, but being at this event, I think, you know, the speakers motivate you more than anything. But for me, my biggest motivation and probably one of the best things that has happened to me was my CEO, Joe, actually asked me to do a segment with him. And it was based around, you know, me making wings, which the video is there if you guys want to see it, um, and us eating hot wings. So similar to the Hot Ones show, and I got to ask him some questions and eat hot wings on stage. And to me, that was probably one of the greatest things that I've gotten to do in front of like 1100 people, which was crazy. Um, I felt so honored to have been asked to be part of it. And because of that, I know that this is what I'm meant to be doing. Um, it's to be in front of people and help people and inspire other people. And I know I have um, through a lot of the things that I've done and I do a lot of talking and I help a lot of people over time, but I think it's time for me to help myself as well. And I think that's one of the things that most people who give a lot of advice tend to sometimes not take their own advice. So I need to sit and hold myself accountable as well. So. My whole life, I've been a bigger girl. I don't think I can remember being thin ever. Um, there's a lot of times that I remember, luckily and thankfully, I was never bullied that I can remember for being overweight. Um, I've always been very personable. People were always drawn to me regardless of my weight. Um, but my whole life I've been told, man, do you know how much prettier you'd be if you like lost weight or um, I'd be getting my nails done and the tech would tell me that. She'd be like, oh, if you just lost weight, you know, you'd be a knockout. Um, and especially because I was a singer, so I had a record deal, I gave that up because I was terrified of what that would mean for me um, and the criticism that I would get. And then I decided, you know what, I can't be terrified anymore. So I started doing this stuff with Busy Mommy um, and it really motivated me to get in front of the camera, right? And, and just, there's been a huge outreach of like positivity and I am so thankful for all of you and everyone who follow along. You know, one of the things that I want to talk about is being a kid, being overweight, it's difficult, right? I mean, you can't wear the same clothes. Thankfully now, um, it's easier uh, because, you know, there's, you know, the Lizzo's of the world, there's the Adele's who, um, there's even models now who are plus size, right? And who are able to show themselves the way they want to be. And, and now I'm not saying that being overweight is not beautiful because it is, because I think I'm beautiful. Um, I know that I could be who I want to be um, if I, if this is how I wanted to be for the rest of my life. But I've always wanted to be smaller. I've always wanted to have a smaller size. I've always wanted to be thinner. Um, that being said, that's why I decided to do this. I lost 50 pounds, like I said, doing keto. And the way I jump-started that was actually by having one of um, actually my husband's family friends, Jessica Oakwin, who's now Jessica. I can't say her last name, but it's Jessica M. Um, but she was on this program and she, I don't know what it was about it, but she 
called me one day and was like, I want to gift you this program and I want to be your health coach because I had something just told me to come to you. And I thought that was just like incredible. Obviously I cried. Um, it's what actually helped jumpstart my weight loss. So this is a program in which you get all the food that you're going to eat. It puts you in a mild ketosis and you essentially just eat what they tell you, right? So like for morning, you have a shake for lunch, you have this. And then for dinner, you're on your own and you make a lean and green meal, something low carb, obviously with veggies. Um, so I did that and doing that, I jump started my weight loss in about a month and a half. I lost about 20 pounds and I was like, man, like this is amazing. And I was like, what if I like, how can I do this on my own? And then I thought to myself too. So I have a problem with eating the same thing every day because you know what, if I could, man, I totally would probably be real thin because I'd be able to eat just the same thing, chicken, rice, veggies, whatever, every day. I just can't do that. So because of that, I find myself, you know, finding ways to do things differently. And being on this platform, I was able to start developing recipes, which made me really excited, right? I was able to take traditional recipes like my tortillas that a lot of people really like, and I was able to make that into a cheese tortilla. And then from there, I was able to make enchiladas and they're keto enchiladas, right? Because they're less carbs. So um, it got me really excited to try new things and take the recipes that I'm used to and trying to make them better because I know I can. What this means for me um, is that I'm gonna start this 90 day challenge with you guys and it's gonna keep me accountable. It's gonna keep you accountable if you wanna be a part of it, please be a part of it. I'm gonna be posting um, a meal prep video once a week of the th stuff that I'm gonna be prepping for lunches. So my biggest downfall is lunch at work, right? Because when I'm at home, I can eat better. I can control what I have. I work at an amazing office but they have a lot of things that are non keto friendly, right? We have chips, we have bananas, we have ice cream, we have pizza. I needed to change my aspect of how food and the relation to food is with me. Um, to give you a little thought of that is I feel like my whole life food has been part of some sort of celebration for me. Right? If you think about it, I mean, you get promoted at work and what do you do? Say, let's go out to dinner and let's celebrate. Someone has a birthday, let's celebrate. Someone does something, let's celebrate. What do you wanna eat? Let's go out to eat. So we literally choose food for everything, whether it's celebration, whether it's sadness, like let's go get ice cream and drinks because you know, you're down because someone broke up with you or whatever. Like we just need to change our mentality on that. And I think I started to realize that and I've started to try to help myself in that aspect. Um, when I was a kid, one of the things that I remember so vividly, I was like five, um, maybe six. And my grandma had sent me to the grocery store down the street. Mind you, we lived in Chicago and she sent me to the grocery store in the street by myself. Uh, and she sent me to get two, two liters of soda. And I remember carrying those two, two liters of soda and remembering how heavy they were. Because you think about like a five-year-old carrying two, two liters, that's a lot of liquid to carry in those silly bags. So I remember being halfway to my grandma's house and thinking to myself, you know what? I look back and I'm like, all right, I'm better here than I was all the way back there. So my thought has always been, you know, hey, I'm better that I'm here and not back at the start. And that's where I see this 90 day challenge going. For me, I lost 50 pounds, gained 10 back. That's fine because you know what? I'm better here than I was back there. So back to my 90 day challenge. I mean, I've literally tried everything under the book. I was on Fentramine. I was on Weight Watchers. I was on Jenny Craig. I've been on many different programs and you know what? Nothing works. And you know why? Because I wasn't in it. If I don't want to do it for myself, it doesn't matter how many programs I'm on or what I do. I'm never going to do it because why did I do these programs? Because I wanted to be thinner because other people said I should be or because other people think that I look better if I'm a certain way or because my sisters are drop dead gorgeous and I want to look like them, right? You have to do it for you. And I'm doing it for me. One day I was on Reddit and I ran into this post from the CEO of this company called Habit Nest. Like this is what I needed. 
I needed something to help me get motivated. So I went ahead and I bought this journal. This is this morning sidekick journal. Um, it is awesome because what it basically does is it helps you write your goals, your why, right? Your reason to why. Now this doesn't have to be about weight loss. It can be about you want to wake up every morning and you want to work out or you want to journal in the morning, or you want to meditate, or you just want to change some habit in your life to make yourself better, do it. So that being said, the morning sidekick journal. So I got it. I read through the first 40 pages. Um, it goes really fast. It talks to you about like understanding your why, like why you want to do this. And then you get to write a little bit about why. And then it talks about the phases of building a new habit. Now this, so true. I'm going to tell you right now, if you decide to do keto, the first week sucks. Oh man, the sugar crash that you feel because your body's so used to eating sugar, the lack of carbs because your body's used to burning carbs for fat or for energy. I mean, it, it's going to suck. You're going to have what they call the keto flu. Some people have it harder than others. I don't really like sweets that much. So for me, the sugar part wasn't as bad as the carbs part. I'm Latina. All right. I love tortillas. I love rice. I love potatoes. I love carbs. I do. So this week is going to suck. The first week's going to suck. And he actually calls it hell week. Um, because regardless of what you're doing, when you're building a new habit, man, breaking those old ones, they're real hard. He talks about eating the frog. So this is actually really funny because at work, one of my old bosses used to tell us this all the time, eat your frog. So knock out the most important task of the day while you can. So I know for me, my frog is going to be meal prep for this keto journey that I'm going to be on because if I don't prep, the rest of the stuff isn't going to work. Anyway, going through that. So eating your frog, doing the thing that's the hardest in the morning, whether that's getting up early and doing a 30 minute run or a 10 minute workout or some yoga, whatever that is that you want to do and that change that you want to make, just get up and do it. Um, another part of this journal is obviously keeping consistent. So once you fill everything out, um, you actually have to sign like a commitment to yourself. Nobody cares. Again, nobody's going to hold you accountable to this, but me, if you want me to, <laughs> um, but no one's going to hold you accountable. If I, you skip a day, if you miss it, think about my story from when I was a kid, better you be here than way back there. If you go out with your friends and you have two beers and some nachos, and if you're on keto, you're going to be sick later. But let's say you want to do that. Doesn't mean the rest of your day is going to go to hell just because you did that. Because you know what? A lot of the things that I remember saying to myself was, let's say they brought bagels at work and I decided to have a bagel or I decided to have two bagels for breakfast. And then my thought was, oh, well, the rest of the day is gone too. So I might as well eat like crap the rest of the day because it's already done, right? That's not true. But then your lunch, just keep on your plan. Like that didn't happen. And you will continue to have success if you do that. We just need to keep moving forward because when we keep thinking about the mistakes that we made and dwelling on them, then we keep going on the same path. Just keep moving forward. That's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm doing this video because I want you guys to help me account, hold me accountable. And maybe I can help some people along the way. So I filled out this, then I start phase one, phase one. This is what you're going to do. Your little book, your little, um, you know, what you're going to do the night before. It gives you a little challenge for the day. And then it tells you tonight I'll sleep at what time. And so you do this at night and then tomorrow you'll wake up. And then what's your biggest challenge? So this one says, what's a challenge, big or small? I've successfully moved past today. So when I do this tomorrow, I'll be able to fill that in. And then my morning ritual will be so morning ritual. Like I'm going to meditate every morning. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up in bed, but I'm going to get up and I'm going to keep my eyes closed and I'm going to put on a meditation music and I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes. And that's how I'm going to wake up because that's how I'm going to start my day better than I did the day before. And then I'm going to journal. And then my goal is to maybe do some yoga in the morning, um, make my keto breakfast, spend time with family because that's really important. I'm going to try to work out two days a week. I'm not going to say try because as Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try. Uh, 
so anyway, this journal is gonna help me. I'm gonna fill it out every day. I'm gonna hold myself accountable for 90 days and beyond. But honestly, 90 days felt like a, I don't know, something I could do. Um, if you guys want a journal like this, I'll link it below. It's really awesome. Habit Nest has a few. They have a fitness nutrition one. They have the habit one. Um, I wanted this morning sidekick one because I wanted to wake up in the morning and do something positive and start it off in a positive way. And I feel like if I write it down, I'm going to do it. I just want to tell you guys that I love you. I appreciate you. Um, all of you are amazing humans and you're perfect just the way you are. But if you ever want to make a change and you want to make a change in your life, whether that's whatever that may be, know that we're all here to support you and I'm here to support you. And I hope you guys join the journey with me. I'm going to be posting on our Facebook page, um, on the busy mommy Facebook page every day, something for 90 days, um, every day. <laughs> That is going to really be rough for me because I, again, have a problem with procrastination. I didn't even post anything for the holidays um, because it was crazy busy. Um, but I want you guys to like see that I'm doing it. And if you want to follow along too, after when I post on day one, start your day one there. Watch whatever video I post or whatever recipe I post or whatever picture I post and then comment in there what you did on your day one. Um, you know, let's see what we can do in 90 days because you know what? We can all make changes in our lives for the better and I'm here to help as much as I can. And if there's any recipes that you want me to try because now I gotta come up with a lot of meal prep keto recipes and I'm gonna share them all with you. So I think that it's important for you to, you know, stay on top of what you're doing and keep motivated and that's what I'm gonna do. I hope that I motivate some of you along the way. Um, I've actually had people already like reach out to me and text me how excited they are about this and how they want to join along too and how they're proud of me for doing it, which also puts another level of stress on me because it means I really do have to follow through and I will. Um, and you guys will see that change obviously as you watch my videos <laughs> moving forward for the next 90 days. Um, but I'm excited to do this journey with you and remember that no matter where you are, in your journey, it's better than where you were before. So I'm here to help you. I'm here to do whatever it is that you need to help motivate you and keep posting fun videos of recipes that we love. I'm gonna use my new Instapot. I keep looking because it's over here. It's so cute. It just looks like R2D2. Um, so that being said, I'm excited. I hope that you like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know any recipes that you wanna try, but please, if you subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell because then you'll get a notification every time I put a new video up. And for the next 90 days, it's gonna be keto-centric for sure. Um, I'll link some of my top keto videos below, which are my tortillas and my keto chaffles. Those are the biggest. Um, but if you have any special like keto products that you've used or things that you really like, let me know. I would love to try them. Um, I love trying new things. So let me know. I look forward to this journey with you guys and 90 days with me starts now. Thanks. Love you. Bye. God drink water.